welcome back to the channel everybody and welcome any new subscribers today i have for you my completed pages for the month video um this is actually going to be for june and may because i never got around to doing my june video because i was honestly i was being lazy and by the time I actually got around to feeling up to doing it, it was already like mid-June. So I figured I would just wait until July and just lump the two months together. So that is what I have for you today. And we're just going to go ahead and jump right into it. So the first one that I have is from Pop Culture Reimagined Book 2. And the one I did is this one here don't mind the background i still am not um i still have a hard time like applying the neo color twos and making it look like you know it's not scribbled like a color crayon i don't know if i'm doing it too heavy-handed or what's going on but that's what's going on here i used um, Ohuhu water-based markers, Black Widow pencils, Pentel Sparkle Pops, White Posca, White Jelly Roll, and the Neo Color Tube on this page. So there is that one. And this is, um, there's different sections to this book. So this section is famous characters role swaps. So in this one, Ariel is the bad guy and Ursula is the... I don't want to call her a damsel in distress, but she's whatever Ariel is considered. She's not no dang princess, I'll tell you that. Ursula, I mean. The next one is in this book here. I'm not even going to pronounce that. I know some of y'all like to try to pronounce it. Some of you can actually say it, but I don't speak French. I don't speak French. This is not in Spanish, just in French, and I don't speak it, okay? But this is volume eight, and I did, did I not mark it? Oh, I did mark it. I did stitch. And I decided for these books, because I have two of them, I also have volume three, I think it is, that I am going to just try to get as close to the colors as possible and interpret what I think they are because a lot of, like these down here, one through three look all black to me. Like, why do you have three different numbers for the same color, like why? What is the reason? They don't, it doesn't make any sense because they all, they all look black. Just make them all black and put it for number one. Like, stop making our lives more difficult by adding all these a b c d e f g like we don't need all those letters just jesus anyway enough of the rant um i did stitch and he's adorable and that is the only one that i did in here then i have one in reptilioids too oh the very first page also goes towards Color Your Horde, as does this one. I did this one. And I used Parku markers, Prismacolor pencils, Neo Color 2s, and Jelly Roll Stardust. It's like, I guess on this one, it doesn't look as bad in the background because it's smaller areas. Like, you notice the scribbling look more like in bigger areas than you do in the smaller ones like i mean it still doesn't look that all all that nice but it doesn't look as bad as it would if it was like a big area you can kind of see it a little bit there but i used stardust on the little bee's wings hopefully the camera is picking it up there is that one and like i said that one goes towards june color your hoard then I did one in a whimsy girl, celebrate the holidays and festive occasions. And I think I put that wrong on my hashtag, but whatever. I mean, on my post. And I did, oh, did I not mark this one? 
I did. I did this one here for Mother's Day. I don't really like how this one came out. I started it with very good intentions of making it really cute. And then I just lost my coloring mojo again. And it was more of a, I just want to get it finished type deal. Um, I used Parku markers on this as well. Black Widow pencils, Pentel Sparkle Pops, Jelly Roll Stardust, and White Posca. And I finished that one on June 28th. Yeah, so it wasn't even in the month of May when Mother's Day is that I finished it. But that's okay. Then I have one in Tales from the City Among the Stars. I did this one here. This one also goes towards... Um, this one is actually from May. Call your hoard. And I don't like how the sky came out, but it is what it is. I do like the frame. I actually really like the frame. And I used, um, <laughs> it was either Black Widows or Prismacolor pencils on this. I honestly don't remember, which kind of sucks because I like this color combination. Yeah, that kind of sucks. Um, I think it might be Prismacolor. I'm not sure. Well, like I said, it's one or the other. And so I used either, um, I used those two pencils. There's some Distress Ink in the clouds. There's a little bit of white, or not white Posca. Um, Pentel Gold Sparkle Pop on Stars, and these little dots that were on the page, I actually covered them with um, liquid pearls. And I did that one on May 11th. The next book I have is Fairy Tale Princess Coloring Book. I have a few in here that I've done over the last couple months. Um, if you've seen my last Complete Pages video, you will see how I mention in one of the discords I belong to, we normally watch um, a Disney movie every weekend, every Sunday. The last few weeks have been something else. but um, And if I do happen to have a page that matches that book, I like to color the page while watching the movie. And so that's what most of these are. Let's start from the first one. So, whoops. We did watch Brave. So while we watched that, I colored um, Merida. She does not have any shading on her. Again, I got lazy with that part. I think the only thing I kind of did was her eye. Um, everything else I kind of was not feeling doing the shading. So she is almost just a straight color. Um, there are, let me see what, oh, I didn't even write down. Like, that's how lazy I got with this page. I didn't even write down what I, what I used. And I usually do. But I can tell, so there was either... Parku or um, it was either Parku or Ohuhu markers for the base. And then she does have Pentel Sparkle Pop on in her hair with the orange. And she has some of the gold on her outfit. And she does have um, Jelly Roll Glaze on her lips. And I have been using glossy accents on their eyes on these pages. And I didn't even do that for her, which I kind of feel a little bad not doing. I might actually go in and put that in there, though, because I really like how that makes their eyes look. So that was the first one. Then I, oops. Then I did Ariel. Ariel is actually my favorite one that I've done um, over the last couple months, the way it came out. I actually really like it. Um, on her, I used 
Parku Markers, Prismacolor Premieres, Jelly Roll Glaze, White Posca, Distress Ink, I use the Mermaid Lagoon color in the Distress Ink, and Stickles, and for that color I use Mermaid Tail, Glossy Accents, and Pentel, Pentel Sparkle Pop. So she has a bunch of stuff on her. The stickles are on the little jewels in her hair and on her forehead. Glossy accents are on her and Flounder's eyes. The, um, the, the Jelly Roll Glaze is on her lips and then the Sparkle Pop is on her necklace. Then I did Belle while we watch. Actually, I don't. Did we watch Beauty and the Beast? I don't think we watched Beauty and the Beast. I think it just colored her. And I use. Okay, so for her, I used Parco markers, Black Little pencils, Jelly Roll glaze, pencil spark pops, and glossy accents. Oh, this was a buddy color with Carrie from Discord. That's what this was. Okay, this was a buddy color. And I finished her on May 12th. Then I did Snow White. Um, we did not watch Snow White and the Seven Dwarves yet. I actually did this one while I was doing a little sleepover thing with my son in the hospital. And I brought this book to color. And I've been wanting to, aside from the ones that I've been coloring during um, movie night, I've been wanting to do this book from front to back. So this was my next one. So I went ahead and did Snow White. And I used Parku markers, Prismacolor premieres, Nouveau glitter markers, stickles, and glossy accents. So the Nouveau glitter markers are on the, like the little leafy looking things on her dress. And the stickles are around here. The glossy accents are again on their eyes. That will be always on their eyes. And what else did I use? Mm, that's it. So there's that one. Any more? Oh, that was the last one from this book. Then I have a page in here. This isn't really a coloring page, but these do take a lot of work. These take a lot of work to do because you kind of kind of have to do them hard. That didn't come out right, but <laughs> uh, you have to scratch the thing hard with a little, you know what? It just takes a lot of work. We're gonna leave it at that because that was not gonna go well either, that sentence. Um, I did Bambi. This book, I am, for the most part, again, doing from front to back. And what this is, is a, um, it's a Disney scratch book. So basically, the whole image is black. And then you take the thing that looks like this. And you scratch off the black part. And it reveals the color. And these are 16 classic Disney and Pixar movie posters. And this is the old school 90s or whatever year the Bambi came out the um this is probably the vhs cover more than likely also but this is the bambi poster all right then i have i only have one more after this and we will be done i did one in jewelry box did this one here this one I did um, as a challenge. Claire from Color With Claire um, started a new game. I'm sure a lot of people have seen and um, probably even done it by now called Coloring Roulette. And so that's what this is from. Why is that? Well, that is totally shadowing through. Um, and so that's what this is one from. I pulled the prompt of jewelry and so i pulled out this book because this book obviously is perfect for that and i picked a bunch of crazy colors like neons and stuff so the blue and the orange are supposed to be the neon 
and um yeah i had to use like a lot like all of my i did do the wild card which i probably shouldn't have done for my first one but i did do a wild card and it was to use all of your coloring materials i had way too many i have too many to use on one simple page like this so i kind of just condensed it i so i used distress ink and i used my stickles and i used um pentel sparkle pops on these on this um but yeah that's what this is from and i actually really like how these little pearls came out around the ring that's probably my favorite thing about this picture There's that one. And then my last one, because I haven't, I didn't really color much in June. Most of these are from May, um, is in Alan Roberts' new book, The Beauty of Horror 6, Famous Monster Pieces. And I'm really sad because the page that I completed, this book, I don't know if it's all of them that do this, but um, I have seen other people talk about like the book like some of the pages coming out and unfortunately that did happen to me which makes me really sad um but i did the marilyn monroe page and i forgot the artist that does this like his name is on the tip of my tongue and i just i'm drawing a blank but this is for may color your horror 2023 my first page out of the beauty of horror 6 and it kind of took me a while i used um prismacolor no did I? No, I did not. I used Black Widows on this. Because I'm actually remembering the colors that I used for the red. Um, I used Prisma. Uh, not Prisma. What did I say Prisma again? I used Black Widows. I used Black Widows on this um, on this picture. And Ohuhu water-based markers on the little backgrounds. You can probably see the streaking, but I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. But that is what I use on that one. And I kind of like it. I kind of like it. This one is his last three books. Okay, so I know there are a lot of Alan Robert fans out there. And I am too, don't get me wrong. Um, but I'm not the biggest fan of Beauty of Horror 1 and 2. I do have... I used to have one, I got rid of it. And I'm, I'm really mad about that because I have every single one of the other ones and I'm having um, issues not having the complete collection because I just, that's how I am when I have a set of books and I really like them. It, it like, I don't know, especially because that's the only one I'm missing. So it's, it's actually really bothering me now that I don't have it. But, um, one and two, I'm not the biggest fans of. I like three, but after three, I feel like he's been putting out bangers, okay? Or hits, whatever you want to call them. Four was really good. Five was really good. Six is good. Like, can this man get any better? That's the question, like. I feel like every book that he brings out, I'm like, okay, I don't think he can outdo this one. And then he brings out another one and he outdoes himself again. So if there is a Beauty of Horror 7, I haven't been keeping up, so I'm not aware if it's in the works or not. But if there is, I'm excited to see what he does because I really like this one and I really like the previous three. But that was my last page to share. I don't know when my next um completed pages video will be if i'll actually have one for august or if i won't have one until september and september is gonna be more than likely a very crazy month for me so it may not till come until possibly october i'm hoping that's not the case but it really is gonna depend on how much i color during july and if I get around to making the video in August. Um, but I will, will try. I will have another video coming out. It's a color along thing that I want to do. Um, 
and it's going to last for the rest of the year. So look out for that video. It will probably be posted the same day as this one. So it will be floating around on my page. So check that out if you are interested. And I will see all of you lovelies in the next one. Bye.